हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ब्रिक टॉक्स विद सिद्धार्थ नाहटा टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस हु स्टार्टेड कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी इन इंडिया ही इज वन ऑफ द पायोनियर्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी हिज जर्नी स्टार्टेड 30 इयर्स अगो व्हेन इवन द इंटरनेट डिडंट प्रॉपर्ली एग्जिस्टेड इन इंडिया फॉरगेट अबाउट डिजिटाइजिंग द एंटायर इंडस्ट्री अलोंग हिज जर्नी ही हैज मेड huge impact and contribution to each individual house owners with his product called auto dcr currently which is getting used in more than 800 of local bodies you know just imagine you have to obtain a permit and you are moving hundreds of files all of that gone because of one man and today we have that man here with us he is an alumnus of iit mumbai he is the ceo and chairman of softtech so i welcome you mr vijay gupta to brick talks with siddharth nahata thank you nice meeting mr vijay tell us about your journey uh, you know from iit alumnus to being uh, the ceo and founder of a construction technology company here in india how the journey has been so journey has been full of excitements and of course the twist and turns at different levels i started with the passion of creating some products in the industry so started the journey with a product called struts for structural analysis design and drafting of buildings at that time when we, when i thought of this product i was actually a user as a structural engineer and in that i found there was no product from india mm. for the use of structural engineers in india mm. and we were actually using us based products or international products mm. which were actually being used but they were not designed for indian conditions mm. indian course indians environmental conditions and so and so so the passion which i had inside was mm. can i create a product which can be used by indian engineers, engineers mm. in a very effective way and then of course the ambition was to take this product globally so with that as a journey i started product of course it was a humble start because i did not have uh, any backing uh, financially from anywhere so twist humble start with uh, engineers of uh, two three working with me and then we we really worked very hard to map the processes really improving the products and from there today we are seeing that this product was very very successful in spite of list of resources we could really compete with the world famous products tad Mm-hmm. which was actually and we were we are very uh, i would say happy about seeing the journey that we could actually complete the product and could capture about uh, 39% of the market share in india as a product penetration when you started back in 1996 uh, i'm sure this whole term uh, which is very famous now called construction technology or contact didn't even existed right so how was those times like you know what is different today and what was different uh, back then i would say that because construction tech that time the challenge was can i use my technology to help you out hmm. so our customers were not really knowing whether technology can be applied to their efficiencies cannot can the technology be applied to the construction processes so that this can be automated and uh, that's where even the adoption was very slow and adoption as i said is very slow because the construction vertical as such is very less in penetration of technology because of diversified natures because of we working on the environment in direct way and we are not into a factory environment as such i would say we are on the ground and there were challenges at the industry level there were challenges at the customers level there were challenges in terms of technology as well hmm. because our processing units the graphical processing units were not uh, that as once hmm. you know and the communication tools also the messaging tools were not so yeah. great to hmm. collaborate among different uh, agencies in the hmm. construction vertical today the scenario is different hmm. today is entirely a different ball game you know our customers are very well educated they know where they can use the technology for adoptions hmm. they know that uh, this is the pain which can probably be solved by technology so we don't have to really teach them that technology is useful for them hmm. 
today we need to, to really adapt the technology to the ground level so that our technology experts should really see to it that the process is very well understood uh -huh. the needs of the customer are very well mapped and our products or the solutions offered to the customers are made to the level such that it can be grounded and adapted very easily effectively and quickly mm -hmm. so so if i try to simply compare both the scenarios uh, at that time the challenge was whether technology can help and now it is how the technology can help so in this context one of the question is since this has already changed what is the one piece of advice that you would give to today's uh, you know contact founder to increase the adaptability because the the basic premise has already been solved so what is one piece of advice that you would give it to them well the, so this is as i said earlier basically the important thing today is we need to really understand and interact more and more with the customers yeah. as to which is the problem area which you are trying to solve yeah. and how will that technology which you are thinking of with of course the latest technology like you are using ai you are using ml you are using uh, high processing units you are using uh, latest interactive graphics you are using computer vision or you are using blockchain whatever technology you are using you may be experts into that technology mm. but you should interact with the customer for which you are building the technology so as to ensure that the technology is used for the advantage of the customer's processes mm. so more and more interactions should have be happening more and more adoption of technology can be made by way of making it easy to use easy to you use you need to convert the complexities into simplicities so that's uh, something that's the key that's the key basically in terms of really adoption of technology uh, the complexity to simplicity wow fantastic mantra so let's say uh, you were to start again as on today let's just assume a hypothetical scenario that you are again a 20 years old 25 years old person and you have to start i'm still 25 <laughs> <laughs> um construction technology today what different you would do or what is the focus area that you will have uh, in fact this is a very good question i would say because the learning which we have done in the past 30 years in the industry as an entrepreneur is of a different level so today i can say that the first and foremost goal whenever we start the industry should be what is the purpose and for what objectives we are doing it do we have the level of competency which otherwise has to be built mm -hmm. so i would focus on really a very strong team mm -hmm. which actually can actually right from beginning work on to the level which we are wanting to achieve we should work with the industry pain areas very carefully we should draft how our technology is going to be in use we should also look at all the time profitability we should not be neglected as mm -hmm. a entrepreneur profitability is very essential for us to have a sustainability in the business and that sustainability only can bring our innovative thoughts into the ground so i i think uh, that all aspects with yeah. a very strong business plan and business goals yeah. would help an entrepreneur in a very effective way okay now when you started as a uh, product company what was your individual focus were you focusing more on the product side preparation of product or you were focusing more on building the team i started as a individual i would say so my major focus in the initial years hmm. was creating the product which can work i was a structural engineer i was engaged into designing i was seeing the challenges day and night in hmm. terms of usage of the product of other other manufacturers and i of course knew the technology as well because that was my understanding from my uh, graduations and post graduations so the focus was on to can i create a product mm. which can make the life of structural engineers very easy and i can very quickly be able to build it in a very efficient manner mm. and make it work with the situation such that their productivity increases significantly so major focus was only on to can the product help my clients effectively 
as on today let's say if i create a product and the product is ready what are the ways that i can you know go to the market this is one of the question many young startup entrepreneur ask how do i approach the go to market in a construction technology company first of all it should not be that after the product is developed hmm. you identify where you have to go hmm. it is all about before the product is developed hmm. you need to know who is going to be your customers and i would say if at least you can pick up somebody hmm. as your poc customer or alpha customer or beta customer and hmm. you work along with them hmm. you know the market anyway well and uh, in the market like before actually the product has to be started hmm. we should as a as a journey of entrepreneurs i can say we should really look at what is the size of the market what are the pain areas which we are going to be address who are the competitions which are building what are the challenges our competition products are facing hmm. so you already are aware of where exactly the market lies how much market lies hmm. how do you are you address that market what are going to be your unique selling points when you go and get ready with the product your focus towards creating products would be also aligned to what is that your pitch is going to be after the product is ready mm -hmm. so once the product is ready you are already ready with the material which is for go to market strategy and then you have to create the channels you have to create your inside team sales team you have to create your uh, marketing team for creating brand of the product mm. you will have to create your channels for distribution so all of that is actually a part uh, simple this next section of the show is called mergers and acquisition so i will pose you a scenario you have to speak your thoughts if you were given 1 billion dollar uh, uh, today what kind of acquisition would you go for integration would you go for is it going to be a horizontal one or is it going to be a vertical one okay that's a great question so i would say uh, as i said like my focus would be on to the vertical architectural engineering and construction domain mm -hmm. but in that vertical itself there is a very very big horizontal we have not yet covered even 20% of what can be done in digital transformation imagine a situation where i can control a site sitting at the office here itself mm. and i can really watch what is happening i can guide my engineers as an expert that this is what you are facing as a problem mm. and this is how you should rectify this i can see the alerts i can see safety measures sitting at the office and i can leverage the technology significantly i can monitor them through a technology like drone and then allow it for predictive and prescriptive analysis using ai ml and so and so so basically this horizontal expansion of multiple technologies for automating the different processes in the construction and infrastructure vertical is something wherein i would like to acquire some expert companies which have already done some work in silos uh -huh. combine them and bring them as just under the civit as a umbrella hmm. to provide automation to the entire infrastructure industry very interesting for our viewers can you can you share some of your wish list what what specific areas would you like to acquire first ai ml is something which is definitely very important hmm. uh, especially what we can look into is uh, computer vision especially mm -hmm. where actually can i actually monitor the site safety mm -hmm. uh, intelligently without really something told about the data is collected through mm -hmm. cameras placed on the site mm -hmm. and they are intelligent intelligently analyzed mm -hmm. through the system mm -hmm. and uh, any safety hazards are intimated well in advance mm -hmm. and an alert is created that kind of a technology if somebody is working we would be very happy to get it connected to our civit build kind of system so civit infra kind of system amazing amazing i am sure our viewers who are watching and if somebody is building that they will very soon reach out to you thank you sir so uh, now this section of the show is called rapid fire where i'll be asking you questions you have to speak your first thoughts without thinking too much uh, describe your leadership style in one word empowering what is your priority 
innovation or efficiency innovation and what is the one word that you would use to describe your entrepreneurship journey roller coaster that's fast what is one innovation that uh, you wish you ha- you would have thought of internet uh, as as a whole internet as a whole because it has changed the life entirely wow if you could automate one aspect of your job yeah so i am bombarded with emails so if something can be automated by way of replying emails that would be great yeah great thank you thank you very much